It's time now for Luke Layston Local News. In the news, the county commissioners met Thursday afternoon for the sole purpose of approving the countywide millage rate. So Tax Commissioner Denise Griffiths can submit the county tax digest to the state for approval, and then the tax bills could be mailed out in Wayne County. The county has to approve both the county millage and the school board millage, the county lowering their millage rate a mill and a half, and their rate is 13.423. The school board, of course, raised taxes, their millage rate 15.939. Once again, the county has the obligation to approve the entire millage rate, but that didn't sit well with the several commissioners on Thursday who didn't like the fact that they had to rubber stamp the school board's millage increase. Both Kevin McCurry and Jamie Hickox appeared before the school board at their school board meetings and asked the school board to reconsider raising taxes to lower their millage rate, but to no avail. Here were the comments on Thursday from the meeting, first from Commissioner Jamie Hickox. Stood on my head for, since our last meeting to figure out a way for me to vote no on this. Turns out this is a procedural thing. You are you're voting to say that the school held their three meetings and they did the procedure that had to be done. There is no way that we can vote no and send it back to the school board and say, go back to the drawing board. You have taxed these people to absolute death and do the next right thing. The school board operated on a $59 million budget and would not hear. When, there, when we came to speak to the school board, they weren't even all there. They showed up for a video conference afterwards just so they didn't hear what people had to say about that. It is what it is. I'm extremely disappointed because this community supports their school. These kids need support. These parents who are trying to pay the electric bill, or trying to pay their taxes, trying to put groceries on there, could have used some support too. And I'm extremely disappointed that this had to happen. I'll vote yes, only because it's a procedural thing, but it makes me sick to my stomach to do it. And once again, those comments at Jamie Hickox at Thursday's meeting. Chairman Kevin McCreary also not pleased and had these comments. Commissioner Hickok stated they have a almost $60 million budget. In that $60 million, they're going up, uh, I think it's a little over $500,000. The, the items that they put on there, I believe they need those items, but I think if they did the way that we did, look through our budget to get those numbers down, get the budget cut, they would see that they could be able to um, re either remain the same or do the, the uh, rollback to be able to uh, keep taxes where people can substantiate living in Wayne County. The thing that bothered me when I saw that $60 million budget, close to $60 million, is I've lived here all my life. We just got through doing a census. For Wayne County. Wayne County grew almost none. We have 200, around 200 students that graduate per year. The thing that I keep thinking about is all this money is being paid so our kids, our grandkids, have to move out of Wayne County to find employment or housing. And I have an issue with that. I, you know, maybe they, they don't want to live here. Maybe we're educating them too much so that they go out and get bigger jobs that we don't have. We don't have NASA or anything like that here. But myself, I want to make Wayne County where we can keep our family here and be able to uh, enjoy our family with the taxpayers' money that we spend not only for the Board of Education but also for the county. And it, it's just disturbing to me. And, I don't know if we can write a resolution stating that we do not agree with having to make the tax levy for the school board a pass-through, that we actually have some say-so in it, because myself, looking at the numbers that I was given for the Board of Education, they should have been able to have done the rollback and still been fine if they had looked at the numbers. And once again, those comments of Kevin McCreary at Thursday's meeting. Commissioner Mike Gordon agreed with both Commissioner Hickox and McCreary. Again, the millage rate voted on and approved yesterday. Again, 
unanimous votes. Once again, it's now set to Atlanta for approval. Then tax bills will be mailed out. Commissioners are meeting again this morning at 8 a.m. for another called meeting. Several items on a work session agenda. One is an update on the SPLOS committee meetings. They'll also be discussing a new election building being proposed by the county. Paper ballots once again on the agenda and discussion of land, the old Holiday Inn, and all that taking place this morning at 8 a.m. at the county commissioner's meeting room. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Other news, the Wayne County School System dealing with bed bugs, but also dealing with rumors and false statements on social media. So the school system sent out this following press release on Thursday to state the facts of the situation. The press release reads as follows. We are aware that there have been recent social media posts regarding the pest situation at Martha Puckett Middle School. So we wanted to take this opportunity to ensure that accurate information is being disseminated. First, there have been no reports of bed bugs at other schools or on buses. There have been diminishing reports of bed bug sightings at Martha Puckett Middle School. Following the recommendation by the Department of Public Health, Martha Puck Middle School has remained open and pest control treatments have been conducted as needed. This weekend, a team of specially trained dog handlers will clean any areas alerted on by the dogs and the handlers will apply extreme heat to areas with the most reports of bug sightings. For the remainder of this week, they ask the students at Martha Puck Middle School do not bring book bags to school and that parents be vigilant in checking their children's belongings each day. If pests are fine, please contact the Department of Public Health. School system will continue to adhere to its protocol related to absences. If a student is absent, the parent should submit a note to the school office and a determination will be made by school system officials regarding whether the absence is excused or unexcused. School system will continue to monitor the situation. We'll provide information as it becomes available. If bugs are found at any additional school sites, parents will be made aware. School system has gone to great lengths to ensure that the information gathered and shared with the public is accurate and up to date. We're working to make sure that all schools are safe and healthy places for students to learn. Wayne County Board of Education is set to meet on September 26th on their agenda under resolutions recognitions. Melba Bennett Murphy Community Service Award. Good as gold recognition. Jessup Elementary School will be recognized at this meeting. Junior Beta Club recognitions. GSBA Youth Advisory Council. Under items of business, the discussion of the pest control issue with Dr. Kelly and the board. Capital Outlay Project Update. Student trips and activities to be discussed. Also, the set, setting of the board meeting dates for the Board of Education on the year 2024. Financial report and also an executive session discuss personnel. All that taking place on Tuesday, September 26th. In a big drug bust this week by the Sheriff's Department and Police Department, Sheriff Chuck Mosley and Chief Chris Hamilton announced the following on September 19th. Members of the Jessup Wayne Tactical Narcotics Team, assisted by Wayne County Sheriff's Office Patrol deputies, executed a search warrant at 749 Osceola Trail, north in Jessup. Search warrant stemmed from a month-long investigation into the sales of illegal narcotics from that address. Search of the residence produced the following, approximately 38 grams of suspected fentanyl, approximately 6 ounces of suspected marijuana, 3 firearms, drug-related objects, marijuana manufacturing equipment, and $4,466 in U.S. currency. Cody Mobley of Jessup has been arrested and faces charges of trafficking fentanyl, manufacturing marijuana, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, possession of firearm by a convicted felon, and possession of firearm during the commission of a crime. According to the DEA, two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal depending on a person's body size, tolerance, and past usage. They state now there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram, meaning there are potentially 500 lethal doses of fentanyl in each gram. Therefore, the 19,000 lethal doses of fentanyl and 38 grams that was seized in this raid. They state this is an active and ongoing investigation with more arrests likely. Sheriff Mosley and Chief Hamilton encourage anyone with information pertaining to this case or any illegal drug or criminal activity, simply contact the Sheriff's Office at 912-427-5970 or the Jessup PD at 912-427-1300. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes of news, homecoming night at J.C. Stadium. One of these young ladies will be crowned homecoming queen. Maddie Joy Blizzard, Veda Bowen, Macy Carey, Ansley Davis, Tori Davis, Reese Dean, Ava Edenfield, Natalie Hendricks, Morgan Humphrey, Charlie May, Ayla Robertson, Riley Rush, Gracie Townsend, P.D. Tyre, Jocelyn Westbury, Zariah Wingard. Again, homecoming festivities tonight. We'll have the announcement of the homecoming queen tonight during the broadcast of the football game. Again, big parade downtown yesterday. Got in right before the lightning and rain. Again, homecoming night tonight at J.C. Stadium. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce gearing up for their annual State of Wayne County Forum. It's going to take place Monday, 
September 27th, the Coastal Pines Technical College. Again, it's a Wednesday morning breakfast, and the program on the program will be speakers, County Administrator Paul Drotty, Mayor Ralph Hickox of Jessup, Greg Roser, Mayor of Odom, and Jason Weaver, Mayor of Scriven. Tickets are on sale at the Chamber of Commerce, $30 for members, $40 for non-members. Need tickets or to register, simply contact the Chamber at 912-427-2028. That'll do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.